Hi, thanks for watching my video today. I had a couple of questions sent to me uh, asking me about um, gravity and if there was a specific way to keybind gravity, um, meaning that you could hit like Alt G and have the level go to zero G. Um, the simple question, in my opinion, I'm going to say no, there's no way to do that. Well, I'm going to say I don't know how to do that because I know that there are a lot of very uh, creative people in BeamMG that may go into the game and edit files and figure out a way to do it. So I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I'm going to say not likely, you know, not something that's easy to do. This level, but I'm going to show you two different ways to achieve um, not really a key binding, but two, two tricks to edit the gravity during a crash scene. That was specifically the question. How would I edit gravity during a crash? Like I want two cars to hit and go to zero G and then be confined to a specific area and then go back to earth gravity. And there's two ways you can do that. In the level that I'm on right here, this is my personal level that I made. It's called Tower of Death, and I'm going to put a link to this down in the description. You can see I put a lot of glowing neon stuff in this level, which is really cool. Um, I like the glowing f effect of everything at night. Um, this this level is not available on the repository. You can see I got the tower, hence the name Tower of Death. I think this is 25 floors, and I think that's 50 floors, and if you come over here, these things right here is actually what we're going to be talking about. These are teleports. This first one, I'm not, I don't remember where each one goes. I think this first one teleports you to that box over there underneath the UFO and you you float in suspended damage at zero G. So these are teleports and that over there is a gravity trigger and they're both Lua triggers. And this one teleports you, I think, to either the 50th or the 25th floor. And this one transfers you to either the 50th or 25th. And then this one teleports you way out there in the middle of the ocean at the end of this thing here. And you could drive back. And there's a there's a gravity trigger right there, too. And here we got the scarecrow. So let me uh, put a car, and I'll just show you one thing real quick before we uh, get on with the tutorial. We'll put a car over here. And we'll go into, let's go into the red one. Like I said, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly where these things go. So this one goes to, oh, this one goes out on the island. So let's go back over here. I did not think that one went to the island. So let's try the blue one. Uh, let's see where this one goes. This one takes you underneath the UFO. So it must be the... Alright, let's try yellow. F7, bring our car back. I think this one's going to take us to... This one takes us to the 25th floor. Yes, that's correct. And both of the floors have clear clear decks back here made of glass that you can drive on. Just pretty cool. All right. And then you got the ramps over here. Whoop, oh, 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 watch out for that pole. See if I can go down here without using the the key to slow it down. Yeah, I think I got this. It never gets old, does it?
Beautiful. All right, so let's go down here and we're going to put that vehicle over here. Press F7, bring that vehicle back. And let's turn the lights on. Let's make it a little bit brighter on the level. All right. That's good. So the question was about gravity. How would I influence gravity during a crash? So let's press F11 and we're going to make a little bump right there. We're going to go to the terrain tool and just go to that. And oops, that's huge. And we're going to come over right about here and just make a little, that's a little bit too extreme. Let's turn that pressure down a little bit. Just a little bump right here. Something for that vehicle to hit. Kind of give it some air. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to go over here right about here and we're going to spawn another vehicle and we'll use the uh, Auto Bella Piccolina and it's there so we're going to come back here and now we're going to tell this vehicle to chase that vehicle speed everything up we want to make sure that this vehicle hits that bump in the road Okay, that's perfect. So now, how would I influence gravity at the moment of an impact? Now I'm just hitting a bump, so you can set it up to, for two cars to collide if you want. Technique number one, we're going to use the replay tool right here. We're going to hit record. Now, any like in so many videos I've explained before, anything that you do during a replay BeamMG is going to splice it back together for you. For example, we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff here. We're going to slow it down. And I'm going to open the door. I'm going to open up this door. Open up the trunk. I'm going to pause the game. Go around. Restart it. I'm going to turn the lights on. Turn the sirens on. Reopen the door. Open the door open the trunk. Let's speed it up. Now the minute we hit this bump, I'm going to pause the game. Right there. Now we're going to go to Escape, Environment, and we're going to select 0G. Escape, Escape, Alt-U, and now you're on 0G. Escape, bring our menu back, Go click on the smiley face. Click on break. You can do whatever you want. That's how. That's one technique on how you can activate. And if you want, hit pause and go back to the environment and go back to Earth. And then press J. Let's speed it up. Now we're going to play it back. Now everything I did, look, everything I did with the doors and the trunk are all played back seamlessly. There's zero G, car broke apart, Earth gravity comes back on, and there you go. So that's one way. That's the easy way. So let's stop this guy from moving for now. Reset. And here comes the more difficult way. Let's use a Lua trigger to do the same thing. So we're going to come over here. We know the vehicle looks like it hit right there. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to add or create object, BeamMG, Lua trigger. Set a Lua trigger there. Object select, select our Lua trigger, select number three, and let's make this a little bit bigger. taller. Whoops. And let's drag that up. We want the vehicle to hit this bump and go into this Lua trigger. So 
anything inside this trigger is going to be zero G. So the vehicle is going to hit the bump, go to zero G, exit the Lua trigger, and go back to Earth gravity. So it's going to fall and hit here. It's not going to go up in the sky like it did last time. So let's make the box a little bit bigger for this first example. Let's make it a little bit longer. So the vehicle hit right there. So it's going to go zero G. And it's probably going to go through the top. And then turn back into Earth gravity and crash back down over here somewhere. So now we have to go get the code. And the code is over here. And I'm going to put a link to this code down in the description. And we're just going to copy this. Go back to BeamMG. Make sure your Lua trigger is selected. Come over here to your inspector. Lua function. Click on the little box. You cannot, you have to use the control V option. And if you look at, let's look at it over here. And just click OK. If you look at this script, it's telling you right here, function my gravity triggered. When you enter it, then the core environment of what you enter is zero. Else core environment set gravity, meaning exit, will be 981. 981 is earth gravity. So this script is telling you when you enter it, it's zero and when you exit it's 981 and if you come back to BMMG and you let's hit alt enter F11 and go to environment and if you look at earth let's put it on zero earth is negative 981 and that's exactly what that Lua trigger is set at so let's go back to the Lua trigger for a minute let's bring up that language oh if you want to change the color of the box you can do that right here. If you have different boxes and they need to be different colors, you can change the color. Also, if you want to hide the box, just hit debug. And then when you press F11, or debug makes the, the box stay there. If you uncheck debug, the box will disappear. For this purpose, we want to be able to see it. So we're going to turn that on. And I think that's it. So let's see how this works out. And let's put this guy back to chase. There's zero G, breaks to the top, goes back to Earth gravity. That is so cool. Now, Let's say you wanted to, let's go back to our Lua code. Looking at this code, if you wanted it to exit and stay at zero G, like we did on the first one when I used the replay tool, take 981, negative 981, and carefully go back and make it 0, 0.00 and just press OK. Now, when you send the car into it, it's going to stay at zero G. There's your zero G. Remember, we change it to 0, 0.00. So everything on the level is zero G now, including the Piccolina. The Autobella Piccolina should be floating over there. See? Everything on the level, including the Autobella is zero G. And it's gonna stay like that until you put it back to Earth gravity. So even if we hit that, shift R, let this vehicle go, it's gonna be at zero G. See? You have to go back to settings or your environment and turn Earth back on. Escape, J. And have the vehicle go through again.
Looks like it's going to hit that pole. Oh, and it did. All right, so those are the two techniques. I hope that helps. I hope that answers your questions. And like I said, this level is um, my level. It's going to be uh, available for download in the description area. It's not available on the repository. And uh, it's pretty big level. It's got a lot of uh, really cool features in it. A lot of different diverse, a lot of diversity. You know, lots of big, huge drifting areas, teleports, zero G, rock crawling. It's got this really cool star texture over here. It's really cool when you drive over that. Um, this neat little rock crawling feature. Lots of cool. I took a lot of time in placing all these plants and everything. UFOs. And it really looks cool at night with a glow feature. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, ideas, or suggestions, or need help with anything, just uh, ask down in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer your questions.